Caterpillar species currently devastating cultivations across the island is on the risk of spreading. Today's focus is on this species of caterpillars which has already destroyed more than 50% of corn cultivation across the island. The Sena caterpillar was first discovered last October in a cornfield in the Ampara district and since spread to the Monaragala, Kurunagala and Anuradhapura districts as well as to the Gaul and Mathura districts. Nearly 50% of the 80,000 hectares of corn cultivation across the country has already been destroyed due to this caterpillar species. <laughs> Corn crops in several areas including the Siambalandua, Mahakalugolla, Atimale, Kotiagala and Kaluobba are currently under attack by the Sena caterpillar. <laughs> this is the worm on the corn fruit. He eats the complete fruit. <laughs> we do farming after taking so much of debt. Now all our crops are being destroyed by these insects. <laughs> we sprayed in pesticides twice, all in vain. It is through farming we feed our families. We will have to commit suicide along with our children. What sort of karma is this? We are suffering because of this so-called Sena caterpillar. Our tour around the Gaul and Mathura districts revealed that the Sena caterpillar devours other types of crops such as mung, millet and wheat. This caterpillar can devour more than 100 plant species including corn. This means that this pest is a threat to the food production in all parts of the country. This caterpillar, native to America, was later detected in Africa several years ago. After destroying crops across Africa, this caterpillar species made its way to India during the first half of last year. It is believed that the Sena caterpillar spread to Sri Lanka from our immediate neighbour, India. This caterpillar is actually a butterfly. An egg is laid and a worm comes out of the egg. This worm or the caterpillar then transforms into a pupa inside a cocoon. Finally, the butterfly comes out. This butterfly is brown in color and is only active at night. The color of the Sena caterpillar will vary between green and brown. There are some four spots on the abdomen of the caterpillar which forms the shape of a square. Agronomists say that the moth that is formed through this caterpillar species can fly hundreds of kilometers on prevailing winds. Even to date, countries that were affected by the Sena caterpillar species have failed to find any solution to mitigate this issue. This insect is a foreign species to our country. Another predator species for this caterpillar has not yet been formed in our country. Therefore, a few paddy seasons will be affected. When harvesting, it is important to remove parts of the plant that has been attacked by the caterpillar. If we fail to do so, it means that the Sena caterpillar will be carried forward to the next season as well. When the next season starts, especially corn cultivation, the farmers must decide collaboratively when to conclude and commence the cultivation process. In a bid to solve this massive epidemic our country's agriculture sector is currently facing, News First initiated yet another national project. Three special research groups along with the Faculty of Agriculture of the University of Peradeniya were dispatched to Monaragala, Ampara and Anuradhapura districts. If everyone does not join to solve this issue, we will not be able to control the invasion of this caterpillar. It is important to use every mechanism possible. There is no time to point fingers at anyone. Everyone must try to control this issue and not ignore saying this is a government and agriculture department issue. Mainly, we must control this species from spreading. We cannot stop the butterfly from flying. However, we must stop them breeding. With the support of the University of Peradeniya, News First will tour around the areas affected by this caterpillar species and will conduct an in-depth analysis into this matter.